everybody, welcome back to another Udemy example. Today we're going to do a little quick one, it's called Number in Word. So just in case you guys are new here, my name is Kyla Mayho, thanks for joining us today. And we are going to start with reading the question, and then we are going to code everything out, maybe talk about it a little bit, and then we are going to check it, and then see if we did everything correctly. So... Let's start off with reading the question. Number in Word. Write a method called print number in Word. The method has one parameter in number, which is the whole number. The method needs to print 0, 1, 2, all the way to 9, basically in words, or other, if the parameter is 0, 1, 2, all the way to 9, or other. For any other numbers, including negatives, you can use if else statement or a switch statement, whatever is easier for you. Note, print number in Word needs to be a public static noun. We're only using static methods, and no main method is needed in the solution. So, it sounds pretty simple, right? So, basically today I decided we're going to do everything in one um, class. So, we have our main method here, so now we have to just create another method called print number in word and like they told us it's going to be public static print number in word and the parameter is int number now remember if you guys want to try this out before I start coding you can feel free to pause the video now and then see how I solve it later or you can watch me do it and then solve it a little differently um, as you can see, they give us two options. We can either use an if-else statement or a switch statement. Um, in this example, I am going to use a switch statement. I feel it's faster and a little bit easier. You guys can go ahead and use an if-else statement and put it in the comments below. Or if you guys are having problems with the if-else statement and you guys want me to do it, please let me know in the comments below and I wouldn't have a problem redoing this same problem in um, an if-else statement. So now we are going to set up the switch statement. And the parameter for the switch statement is just going to be the number, since we're just converting the number from an integer to a string. And as we, you may or may not know with um, switch statements, is they have specific cases. In this case, we're going to have cases all the way from 0 to 9, and then we're going to have a default case, which is a case where any other case except for 0 through 9, it'll print out a different statement. So for case 0, for example, we're going to have sysoutprint1, 0, and then we have to have a break statement here so that the program knows that it doesn't execute anything else. So to save us time, we're basically going to copy this nine more times. Because it saves us a little time for coding, and of course you can feel free to just do it all by hand. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll just do it as we go, make it a little easier so you guys can kind of see what's going on. So that's test case one with a string of one. Oops, wrong side. And then you're just basically going to do this all the way down until you get all the possible choices you need. Four, oops, this is supposed to be me. This is supposed to be three. So now I see we have four options, so we can just copy this. Gotta make sure everything is the same. Six. Seven. Now we only have four more. Eight. 
eat love and do five tweets. With the default, you don't need a case aspect. It's its own case default is. So then we just delete this one. We already have 10 options. Now let's see if it's going to work. The way you test this without multiple classes is basically we are just going to call the method here in the main method. And we're just going to pick a number to print. So the number I want to print is 5. Let's run it and see if it works. Okay, it worked in IntelliJ. Um, with the positive number, we can try it with the negative number as well. Go ahead, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Any questions, leave it in the comments below. As you guys can see, so by being a negative number, it wasn't a number from 0 to 9. So we printed out a value of other. And just to make sure 0 works, we'll run 0. And it's going to print 0. So now we're going to try it in the Udemy tester. And we're just going to pull the method that we created. Again, you guys can feel free to do this in, as an if else statement if you like. I just did it in the switch statement, a little faster, a little easier. So now we're going to check the solution. And it says we have an error based on parentheses. So most likely it just means I restored one parentheses according to their algorithm. Just because we did copy and paste it over. It's a pretty simple error. And it says... Uh, oh, I just spelled eight wrong. So see, everything is an error to the computer. Literally everything. And we got it right. It took us a couple tries, a little baby errors, but we got it to work. So I want to thank you guys for getting this far in the video. Go ahead and leave a comment, like, subscribe, share the video if you know. Anyone that may like to learn Java or just want to learn something new or is interested in the coding. If you guys want to stay tuned for more videos and get notified, go ahead and also hit the notification bell. And I just want to tell everybody to have a great day and just stay positive, you know, and just keep focusing on what you think is best. See you guys next time. Rather talk to you guys next time. Code you guys next time. Code, code, code you guys next time. Bye.